Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a real versus fake on the cover effects enhancing drops. So the fake one is on the left and the real one is on the right. And the first thing I noticed is the fake one has 30 milliliters and the real one only has 15. The back of the boxes is where the directions are and they both have the same directions. And also when you turn the boxes to the left, that's where the ingredients are and they both have the same ingredients listed. So for this part, it's a little hard to see because my ring light isn't picking it up. But the fake one is on top and the real one is the bottom one. And as you can see, the fake one has a gray barcode and the real one has a white one. And also all the lettering is the same. But um, the crazy thing is that the barcodes have the same number and also they have the same lot number. So there's no difference in that. This is the top of the boxes and the real one has a sticker that says Moonlight and the fake one has Moonlight printed onto the box. This is how it looks when you open them. They both have Shake Well before use and they have it in a different language. So the fake one is on the left, the real one is on the right. The fake one has 30 milliliters so it's twice as bigger as the real one. And I checked on the Cover FX website and the biggest size of these droppers is 15 milliliters. So anything bigger than that is fake. The bottom is only a lot number which is 6 out to 1. The fake one doesn't have one. This one's the real one. And when you squish the dropper product does come out from it and deposits it. And this is how the wand looks like. This one is a fake one, and when I squish the dropper, product doesn't come out from it. Doesn't Nothing comes out from it. And this is how the dropper looks like. The top one is a fake one. The bottom one is the real one. The real one has a teardrop effect. The fake one looks like a straw. This is how they show up on my skin. I have a medium to tan skin tone. They show up really bright. The fake one is on the left. The real one is on the right. In different lighting, the fake one has a pink undertone. It's more pinkish. And the fake, I mean, I'm sorry, the real one is a champagne color. The fake one dried down first. The real one is still drying down. I definitely recommend the fake one. It cost me about $8 to $9. So I'll leave the link um, in the description below. Also... I suggest that if you have sensitive skin, I mean, I wouldn't take that risk because a lot of you guys saying that it burns your skin and it's giving you irritation and rashes and stuff. So I would just splurge on the real one. But if you don't have sensitive skin, I mean, I don't. And it's actually, it feels nice. It dries down faster than the, than the real one. The real one is already cracked. The fake one isn't. So definitely recommend that one. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!